the most venomous snake in the world. Just get ready the antidote, because you're about to know the Ophidia whose bite is so dangerous that it can kill over hundreds of people. The Terror of the Desert The Black Mamba? The Indian Cobra? This one? They got nothing on the most venomous of all, the Inland Taipan. Welcome to the Examine Animals with the Us. areas of Central Australia, in the states of Queensland and South Australia. Moreover, it likes to live in the rodent barrows of whom it usually feeds on. After all, who would dare to throw her out of there? On the other hand, the appearance of this snake varies according to the season. In the summer it can be a light brown, almost yellow, while in the winter it acquires a dark brown color. The inland taipan averages approximately 5.9 feet in length. However, specimens have been found that exceed that measure, reaching 8.5 feet. A dangerous family. The inland taipan has two close relatives, the ranges taipan and the coastal taipan. They all have hollow fangs through which they inject the venom that accumulate in the back of their jaws. When they close their jaws, their fangs are stored in holes present in the lower jaw. Terrifying, don't you think so? Aggressive behavior. The favorite dish of the taipan is the long-haired rat. This rodent reproduces so much that it becomes a plague in certain seasons. So the taipan takes advantage of its luck to feast with all the rodents it wants. That's why it gains too much weight. When the number of rats is scarce, let's please subscribe my YouTube channel. Other less appetizing prey, such as the plains rat, birds, and when it is very, very hungry, it can eat some small marsupials such as coltar. For that purpose, the taipan corners its victims in their burrows and kills them by applying multiple bites in a single attack. It can bite them up to eight times. The truth is that so much fury is unnecessary because with such a potent venom like that, the rats can barely move. The taipan may take hours in swallowing what it has hunted. Therefore, his mouth begins to salivate abundantly to lubricate the dead animal that has to pass through the whole esophagus. Fortunately, the ribs of the taipan are not attached to the sternum, and its scales are small. That is why their muscles and skin can stretch as much as necessary. Measure Venom There is a standard way to measure the snake's venom which is the famous Median Lethal Dose, or LD50 by its acronym. This measure emerged from laboratory experiments in which venoms are tested in a multitude of unfortunate mice. It's called 50 because laboratory tests continue until 50% of inoculated mice die. Not one more, nor one less. If the thing fails, the experiment will be carried out again. The most venomous snakes have a lower LD50 because they need less venom to kill half of the mice in the experiment. Taipan only has an LD50 of 0.025 grams per kilogram. It's the smallest LD50 of all the snakes in all the world, which automatically makes it the most venomous. The Attack With each bite of the Taipan snake, an inoculation, between 44 and 110 milligrams of venom is made. This is between 200 and 500 times more toxic than the majority of rattlesnakes. This is also 50 times more toxic than the venom of a cobra. His lethal bite has the ability to kill more than 100 adults and 253,000 mice. Fortunately, it rarely bumps into humans since it lives far away from the great Australian cities. In addition, it's only exposed for a brief part of the day. If it perceives you as a threat, it will put itself into a guard position. Lifting its body and forming an S, and if it has no other choice, it will attack. Because once it starts its attack, it's almost impossible not to be poisoned. Venom Effects The Taipan's venom has neurotoxins, hematoxins, and myotoxins. Neurotoxins destroy the connections between neurons and cause permanent paralysis of the upper eyelid, the inability to articulate words, in addition to facial, muscular, and finally respiratory paralysis. Like and share the video. By asphyxiation. Regarding hematoxins, they inhibit blood clotting, which causes internal bleeding and death from stroke. Finally, myotoxins kill muscle tissue. Dead cells end up in the bloodstream, causing kidney failure. Whatever organ is affected, death will come if an antidote is not applied. If venom is your middle name, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. If you want to watch more dangerous animals, you can click on any of these three videos. I'll be waiting for you in any of them.